Today we're at Truro and Penwith College to give you a taster of higher education and what's on offer here. My name's Tamsin Irvin and I'm the curriculum lead for our health programmes here at Truro College. So that includes ODP courses, and the Nursing Associate and the Registered Nurse Degree Apprenticeships. So the Nursing Kelly is an amazing piece of equipment that we've used with the students to help really simulate different environments and different situations that they could come across with patients. So you can pre-program it to do simulation of things like a cardiac arrest or a respiratory arrest or a severe asthma attack and somebody that could be bleeding, hemorrhaging or you can manually control it as well so that we can change things to kind of question the students and to test their, their knowledge as in, you know, what would you do now, the heart rate's falling, how would you kind of approach that, what would you maybe do, the saturation rates are falling and we can kind of control that so it can be used in a really amazing way to help simulate different situations that the students might come across in practice. So this is obviously a safe environment for them, so simulation can be used to practice different skills and to try things out. And as well as the, the monitors and the different scenarios, we can actually show real basic nursing care as well, so things like checking pressure areas. So we're able to show different wounds on the nursing Kelly with different sort of interchangeable parts. So we can check pressure areas, you know, on hips, on things like necrotic toes, pressure areas on heels, so as well as the more kind of internal sort of scenarios we can actually show real basic nursing care as well which is so so important for the students to be able to recognise in order to take that through to their practice. So our student profile on the course at the moment is actually a high level of adult mature learners. So the students that we have are really looking for progression routes in their roles at the moment. So most of them are working as healthcare assistants, either at the hospital, we have some that are working at a hospice, GP practice, and soon we've got some students joining us from nursing homes as well. So it's giving these students and these, these healthcare assistants a progression route, which is so important that wasn't really there for them before. In terms of career progression from the nursing associate foundation degree could work in their own right as a nursing associate they're a qualified registered role so they're registered with the nursing and midwifery council and the role is is a role in its own right so some students will do the nursing associate course and will stay working as a Banffor nursing associate other students may want to top up their foundation degree to the full nursing degree which they can also do with us here at the college so they could then become a qualified registered nurse with their full nursing degree afterwards so it gives them a real good progression if they want it similarly with the ODP courses, students will qualify as an ODP and can then progress through the ranks if they so wish. So it just gives people different options, different career routes and different progression routes through from a level three qualification, a healthcare assistant, right up to being a qualified nurse. We hope you've enjoyed this taste of what higher education can offer. For more information on courses and routes into higher education, you can visit the Next Step Southwest website or join the conversation on our social media channels.